On the City of Portland's ePlans website, you can upload your drawings and documents for development review from the comfort of your home, office, or somewhere in between. In this ePlans tutorial, you will learn how to follow the required file naming standards for your documents and drawings. This is a crucial first step to ensure your files are successfully uploaded. Let's get started. It's important to follow these required naming standards throughout the cycle of your project, so please be sure to follow these guidelines. Files are managed and sorted by file name and displayed in numeric alphabetic order. The required file naming standards include these four data elements. Two to four leading numbers, first letter of discipline, sheet number, and a concise description. All files should be named according to the order listed on your provided cover sheet, index, or table of contents. This format ensures files are displayed in a logical order. Plans under 10 pages don't have a cover sheet, so just name the plan files in the order you want them displayed. Lead with a two-digit number if you have fewer than 100 pages, a three-digit number if you have more than 100 pages, and a four-digit number if your plans exceed 1,000 pages. For example, type 001 for your first file, 002 for your second file, and so on. Next, be sure your file names include the first character of the discipline area. All plans, including the associate details, should be submitted under the correct discipline area. For example, use the letter A for architectural and the letter S for structural. Pause this video and take a screenshot to save this discipline key for later use. After adding your leading numbers and the letter of discipline, be sure to add the sheet numbers with either decimals or whole numbers. The last element to include is a short description of the drawing content. Some examples include cover sheet, preliminary site plans, second level floor plan details, and more. Let's take a look at an example. Here is an image of an example sheet index commonly used in projects. Let's say you are uploading three sheets in project docs, and the first file is the cover sheet, which is a general document. You would name the file 001G1 cover sheet. Notice that there are no underscores, commas, or any special characters, but there are spaces. The second file is an erosion and sediment control plan. You would name the file 002L1 erosion control plan. Consider the third file to upload, the preliminary site plan. If it's under the civil discipline, how would you name it? If you said 003C1 site plan, you are correct. During reviews, you may be asked to resubmit revised plans. Corrected files need to be resubmitted with the exact same file name as the original. Please, do not rename the files in any way, shape, or form. There is no need to add a version type or extra blank spaces in the file name. Project Docs will automatically update the file version so you don't have to. At some point during the review and resubmission process, you may need to insert a drawing between two files. To do this without losing the file naming standard order, please start your new file name with the preceding file prefix and include a period and the number 1. For example, if you are inserting a file between 002L1 control plan and 003C1 site plan, you would start the new file name with 002.1. If adding two files, name the second one 002.2 and so on. This is the only way to ensure your new file will display between the two previously uploaded files. Remember these tips. Do not rename files before resubmitting. File names should reflect the file's content. Limit the file name to 40 characters or fewer. Use abbreviations when necessary. Do use a period, ampersand, or dashes, but do not use any special characters, including underscores, percentage symbols, pound signs, or commas. 
Project Docs will not upload files with special characters. Once your files are named correctly and you've received a task, you are ready for upload into Project Docs. Files can be uploaded into two places, through the task eForm or through the Project's Files tab when you have a task assigned to you. Files cannot be uploaded when the city has the task. Before we begin, let me direct you to some online help that you can access within Project Docs. Look for the Learn How video links to follow instructions on how to complete certain tasks, like upload files. For this example, I will accept the Applicant Resubmit task. By clicking the task name, I will launch the task eForm. I will scroll down to the task steps. Here, you will see one of the Learn How video links I mentioned before. First, click the tab of the type of files you are uploading. I will upload version files first. Project Docs has an auto naming feature to make sure your files are versioned correctly. You will first need to determine if the files being uploaded have the same name as previously uploaded files. If the file names aren't exact, for example, adding a version 2 at the end of a document, Project Docs can handle that for you. Just click No and follow the instructions provided to you in Project Docs. If you followed the instructions in the first half of this video and your version files have the exact file name as the original upload, click Yes. I will click the appropriate folder for the files I am uploading. In this scenario, I am uploading files to the Drawings folder, so I will click Upload Drawings. The File Upload window will pop up. There are two ways to add files to this folder, either browse for or drag and drop files from your computer. Up to 100 files can be uploaded at a time. For this example, I will browse for files, select the appropriate ones, and click Open. Project Docs will identify whether these are new or existing files. Files are color-coded to identify their states. New files are orange, new version uploads are blue, and if the files are duplicates of existing files without any changes, they are red and will likely be discarded. This is an easy way to check if you are uploading the correct versions of your files. I will then click Start Upload. A green pop-up will confirm that the files have been successfully uploaded. If you are uploading new files, click the New Files tab. Then, follow the same file upload instructions as before. Confirm that you have completed the task, and then click Complete. Another way to upload files is through the Project's Files tab. On the Project Docs homepage, I will select the project, and then click the Files tab. Select the folder where you want to upload files. I will click Upload Files. I will then follow the same upload instructions as before. The catch is, if you upload files through the Files tab, you will have to go back to the task eForm to complete the task and send it back to the city. This is an important step, so please don't forget. For a written version of this information on file naming standards and applicant uploads, please read our quick step guide found on our website. We're here for you during every step of your project. If you ever need assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us. Links to our website and email address can be found in the video description below. Thanks for watching.